everyone, Ken Salville here today talking about mulches. We've got all kinds of different things to mulch the surface of soil with. So why do we use mulches? Number one is that we're suppressing the light that stimulates weed seeds to germinate. So we're using it to suppress seed germination. That's the key. So what we're doing is we're going to create a landscape, put our plants in the way we want them. We might even make adjustments, say to irrigation, that sort of thing. And then when we're all done and everything looks neat and tidy and it's good to go, we'll be putting somewhere around two to three inches of a, of a surface covering to suppress weed growth. So just remember that's the term mulch. It can be rock, it can be, it can be like fine gravel, it could be just landscape fabric, it could be a fabric mulch. Some people use lawn, they'll use their grass as a mulch just to keep the weeds down. You can use uh, organic mulches and compost based mulches and uh, you can use bark mulch, you know, there's a lot of different things. So learning about mulch is really important. So uh, here today, we're just at Bylands Nurseries today and uh, they have a quite a good selection, but this particular uh, mulch, this is an organic mulch. It's available, there's a company that creates this product and it's mostly a wood base, but it has some plant material in it as well, it's compost. And what they do is they, they separate the particles into three sizes. So they have a really fine size, a medium size, and a coarse size. This is the coarse one here. So I like the coarse one because it doesn't blow around so much. So if you have a windy location, you gotta go with the coarse one. Uh, you can see over here a little bit of a finer product. And this is actually what's called a medium size product. And this one is good for mixing with soils. So from a horticultural standpoint, I'm always going to be selecting the coarse product to put on the surface, the medium product to be blending with the soil, and then there's also a super fine product, which I, I don't think they have here, but the super fine one is just used for top dressing lawns, that sort of thing. It works just fabulous. But that's just this one particular product. There's also fur bark, and I'll just show you some fur bark over here. And you can see the fur bark is not, it's not quite as composted. It's not as composted. The blacker the color, the more composted it is. But this still makes a beautiful uh, surface covering around the plants. Personally, I like a little bit more black color. But this will darken as time goes on as well, if it can be composted a bit more. So, uh, with mulches, again, rock mulch is something that is fairly commonly used. And that's where you put fabric down and then you put rock on top of it. So you use the fabric as a filter cloth. So that keeps the, the, the soil from underneath it coming up and getting mixed with your rock. So if you have nice clean rock sitting on fabric, that's a nice finish and that'll help to keep the weeds suppressed and whatnot. But uh, when you use organic mulches that are compost based, you don't need to use the fabric because you're just, you're getting it, if this stuff is in contact with the earth, that's what you want. That's what's gonna make the earth better and it's gonna make it richer and it's gonna keep the roots of the plants happy. It's gonna hold moisture in the ground. It's got all the attributes that you're looking for. Just like in the forest, nobody cleans up in the forest. They have that beautiful compost out in the wilderness. Well, that's what we're trying to replicate when it comes to uh, m surface mulches. So I really like sort of the composted stuff that's more like a black color. That's sort of more like what I'm looking for. But everybody has their own. This stuff will have to be replenished about every two years or so. So it's something that you, you upkeep. But you're doing it because you want your plants to be healthy and you want it to be sustainable and last a long time. So again, rock isn't always the best thing in hotter climates. The rock will tend to uh, reflect the heat up onto the plants. And if you think about it in nature, there's not many plants that actually live in the wild that, that are just surrounded by rock. Uh, you will find that in more desert climates. So desert plants will, will probably prefer a rock mulch rather than a compost mulch. But, um, but still, you know, in most forested areas, compost is the way to go it just keeps the plants nice and happy and it forms this beautiful uh, I call it like forest litter on the surface of the soil where the uh, the mycelium you know the fungus can live and it just it's just this beautiful environment that's very natural and that's what I like to do is keep it as natural as possible it keeps your plants healthy which means less pest and disease so that's it for today uh, just talking about mulches 
Uh, I think it's a very important topic and uh, keep learning about mulches and talk to your local uh, suppliers about what's available. So that's it for today. Thanks for checking in to growercoach.com.